Good morning. My name is Bob Klein, and I am the chairman of the governing board of the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine, established by Proposition 71. And this morning, we have the privilege of being in the state capital of California. We are very privileged every time we have a chance to meet with legislators, uh, to get their advice, uh, to confer with them, to answer their questions. And today, we will follow this spotlight session uh, with an opportunity after our board meeting to meet with legislators in this great capital of this great state. I'd like to uh, recognize the tremendous work uh, yesterday uh, <coughs> of Charles Casey in the Office of Public Affairs uh, in carrying out a tremendous opening for the Davis, UC Davis Institute for Regenerative Medicine and Cures. <clears throat> it is a phenomenal facility, so I uh, recommend all of those of you who are going to see this film uh, <clears throat> of the spotlight to really look at their website and understand the phenomenal work they're doing. Uh, that tremendous facility has benefited by the championship of their tremendous dean and our board member. Uh, she's also the vice chancellor of UC Davis, Dr. Claire Pomeroy, and Dr. Jan Nolta, head of the stem cell program. So I recommend this uh, very highly to you. This morning I'd like to introduce Dr. Pomeroy uh, for the spotlight we're going to have on Huntington's disease. She has been a phenomenal champion, as has UC Davis, of, of Huntington's uh, research. But her background tells you of a much broader championship for quality health care and for outstanding medical research. Dr. Pomeroy is both the vice chancellor for human health uh, sciences at UC Davis and the dean uh, in addition to being a force of nature, a powerful advocate on our board. She oversees the UC Davis Health System and its academic research and clinical programs, including an 800-member uh, physician group and the 576-bed uh, acute care hospital. Uh, you can imagine that if she can oversee 800 physicians, she can lead uh, teams to cure about any disease that has affected this planet. <clears throat> she has an operating budget uh, of $800 million, but most importantly, serves nearly 900,000 patients uh, every year. She's a longtime expert and <clears throat> advocate uh, for special clinical care and research for HIV AIDS, and she has um, really also been a, a tremendous champion uh, broadly for the Mine Institute where she serves as uh, a member of the board of directors and one of the great leaders. She started with the University of Michigan. Uh, she earned a <coughs> uh, fellowship uh, at the University of, of Minnesota. So she has both her medical degree from Michigan, uh, she has an MBA from the University of Kentucky. Uh, this is a triple threat player of tre tremendous ability, uh, Dr. Claire Pomeroy. Well, thank you very much, Bob. And it's really an honor for our UC Davis Health System team to be uh, co-hosting today's Spotlight with CIRM. Now, uh, this is our team on this slide. We are especially pleased that the ICOC is meeting in Sacramento at the Capitol today, um, because right down the street yesterday, as Bob mentioned, we just opened our brand new UC Davis Institute for Regenerative Cures, and we thank CIRM and we thank all of the voters of California for um, approving Proposition 71 and turning our dream into a reality. So this is our um, institute. We had a great grand opening yesterday. Our institute is home to critically needed stem cell research laboratory space and a one-of-a-kind good manufacturing practice facility where we will be making the stem cells that will be used in clinical trials. 
our institute is indeed home to programs that make hope happen, hope for new cures and new therapies. I'm honored today to introduce a team of speakers who are focused on turning that hope into reality. Our presenters are dedicated to using stem cells to cure Huntington's disease. Cure Huntington's disease. This hereditary and degenerative condition currently has no cure. And it has only limited treatments. And you know, I think that's what CIRM and stem cell research are really all about. Finding better answers for people who are suffering from these devastating illnesses. Today, we'll hear from Dr. Vicki Wheelock, Dr. Jan Nolta, and a very special person named Sherry, whose family history puts her at risk of Huntington's.